Episode two of Everything Mayor. Welcome back. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. But today we're talking about the potential for a new John Mayer solo record. Uh, I'm going to answer two questions today, and I want you to answer them also in the comments below. So please do that. Hit the like button, all those things. But the first question is, when do you think Mayer's coming out with a new album? Second question is, does it matter to you? And do you care as much? And I'm going to answer both these questions in my way, but I'm very interested to know what you think about those two. So please, as you watch this, make sure you go and let me know in the comments. So answer to question one, when do you think Mayer is going to come out with a new album? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's imminent. I don't think we are on the doorstep of a new solo record coming out in 2024. Honestly, I would be shocked if the album drops in 2024. Uh, his focuses are in other places. I'm sure it's being worked on. He said as much that's being worked on, but I don't think that we're going to see it dropped in 2024. So that means, I don't know, the next one to three years. He did say, uh, you know, we kind of mentioned in passing on the Conan podcast, like, hey, if I drop an album in the next one, two, three years, I mean, that's a pretty big window and he's being vague. And I know he he knows that people are wait, waiting and hanging on his every word to figure out exactly when a new record as an independent artist, by the way, no longer on Columbia Records, is going to drop. Um, I mean, just based on the Sphere shows coming up with Dead & Company, he's got another leg of the solo tour. He's got some obligations to get out of the way, not out of the way, but finish uh, before he moves on into that new section. Now, one other thing that I want to mention, it kind of answers question two, is does it really matter? Uh, we're It's not like he's gone dark. Uh, you know, we get a lot from him, which is cool uh, because if you go back 20 years, 15 years to the traditional album cycle where you'd get, you know, album, single, tour, break, and so on, even though he hasn't put out that many albums in the last decade, I think it's two, um, you're still getting a lot from him content wise. And we live in a new era. So this kind of answers question number two, does it even matter? Well, I mean, obviously we want new music. We want, and, and Mayer is a, an album centric kind of artist. He's kind of old school in that way. So, uh, you know, singles while well, he's done that in the past, um, maybe don't cut it for us hardcore fans who want to dig into a whole collection of songs that he's curated together. So, but uh, we're getting consistent and regular content from him. He has a whole Sirius XM satellite channel that, uh, you know, he's even mentioned albums and, you know, kind of in passing plans on what he's going to do. Um, uh, but we get that. So you get a window into his creativity. Uh, you're getting appearances on podcasts like the Conan podcast, uh, Call Her Daddy, a few months ago, actually almost a year ago. Um, so he's out there. It's not new music per se, but you're getting stuff from him. So in the new era of, you know, as a musician, you can't just put out music. You have to put out content. This is content right here. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm a musician also. So, I mean, I spend a lot of my time talking into a camera these days, which hopefully leads you to some of the musical things I do on this channel or I'm not on this channel, but on my other channel. Um, so d does this ease the blow of not having an album really on the horizon anytime soon? Uh, for me, yeah, because I enjoy hearing him talk. I enjoy seeing him talk about watches, which he's done, you know, recently. And I, I just, I like basically just hearing from him in any way, shape or form. Yes, new music is very exciting. However, he has such an extensive catalog um, that I still find myself revisiting previous albums and discovering new things and fun things and learning stuff on the guitar that I haven't yet. And, you know, so I haven't like reached the end of the Mayer runway per se uh, to where I'm bored with his music. So I'm more okay with not having a new record right on the horizon. We did get some new songs that got sprung out of the uh, solo tour. Um, some old songs that were unfinished that he brought back, you know, I mean, so you're getting new things and, and who knows, maybe the European leg of the solo tour is going to yield some other things like that, which uh, inevitably we will see on YouTube and, and wherever uh, else you consume concert bootlegs. So uh, there will be hopefully something kind of new to listen to, but I guess it, it doesn't bother me as much. Um, it, I'm definitely curious to see where he goes as a independent artist. 
if he remains off of a label, uh, how he's going to do this, how he's going to release something. Is he going to sign up, you know, for a traditional distribution type deal with a major player? Is he going to do something totally different? You know, you can see some comedians just kind of go straight organic just to their website to do things uh, these days. I don't know. I mean, I think he's going to experiment. Um, I, I've talked about it before to where I could see something kind of creative and cutting edge uh, with the delivery method of his music in the future. Uh, if you remember on the Corey Wong interview uh, that he did with John Mayer, uh, you know, John asked Corey Wong, I think quite a bit about how he structures his business and how he, you know, does things. And, and they, I think they talked a little bit about Patreon and those, I'm not suggesting John Mayer is going to start a Patreon and make you pay for that to get to his, uh, to get to his new album, whenever that comes out. But I do think that he is not afraid to think outside of the traditional realm of, of how a major label artist would contribute new work to the world because he's already signed off uh, of Columbia records and didn't renew that contract. So, We'll see. Again, those are the two questions. Um, kind of curious to know what your thoughts are. When are we getting an album? And if it's going to be, as I predict, between one and three years away, is there enough coming out, uh, you know, even aside from Dead & Company, just from the John Mayer himself as a personality, is there enough coming out with Life, uh, the channel, uh, anything he does on Instagram, any interviews and any bootlegs that come out of the solo tour. Um, you know, how do you feel about that? As I'm talking, I'm thinking, oh, interesting. He has his own channel. What if that's how he decides to debut new music? Could be interesting. <laughs>